Okay, we uh, uh, last night we began a new parak, parak, parak uh, shmini kainim yayin, and again, that, what does a person mean? We go after by nedarim after lashem and yadam. So a person would say yayin is kainim from high yayin today. The day it would be us until nightfall because the day means the current day. If you say yoyim echad, it would mean twenty four hours from the hour you're you're made the nether till the next twenty four hour period. So hayom limited to the day. Yom Echad, extending beyond the day. We had a Shiloh right about Yom, and that's what we're holding, answering the Shiloh, what the person says, day. So let's look over the Shiloh again. We'll start from Samech on the base, the two dots, about eight, nine lines up in the bottom. Iboy lehu. Oim ka'inim yayim shani ta'inim yayim. He doesn't say hayayim, but he doesn't say Yom Echad. He says yayim. Ma dine? What's the, what's the, how do you look at it? Kya hayayim? Do you view it like hayayim and it'll be only us until nightfall? And you be also for a 24 hour period from the time you made the nether. Tashma, let's be pushing for my Mishnah. Masnisan, koinim yayin, shani toyim hayoyim, inoser ela ad shetechshach. So the inference is if you say hayoyim, then you only yasa to the evening. Hayoyim, but if you would have said lashon of yoyim, then it would be like yoyim echad, and it would be a 24 hour period. Says so the inference from the ratio is that yoyim should be also for twenty four hours. Aim a sefer. Let's view the sefer of the Mishnah. Oma yoyim echad. If a person says yoyim echad, also right me yoyim liyoyim. It's also twenty four hours. Ha yoyim mashma. If he didn't say yoyim echad, didn't say echad, just said yoyim. I would say it's it's ha yoyim dummy, and you'd only also until nightfall. So in other words, the inference from the ratio and the inference from the sefer are conflicting. And as the Gemara always does, when we have this confliction, it always says the Lushen, even though Lushen Medar is Mishuna, here it's consistent with the rest of Bavli, El Mehal Lechel Mashmarina. From the Mishnah, the inference does not work. So we still have a Shaila. We know what the Allah is, Hayayim. We know what the Allah is, Yayim Echad. What's the Allah of Yayim? So another attempt. Amra Vashi Tashma. Koinim Yayim Shani Toyim Hashana. Koinim Hayayim, he says Hashana. Good the year. This Abraham Shana, if it's an Ibiyar, if it's a leap year, then Asa Bo'u be Bura. He'd be Asa the year. In other words, and the, he'd be Asa and the additional month. He'd be Asa the year and the additional month. Now, Hechi Dami, what exactly was the Lushan that he used when he made this Nether? Ile Mikidiktani, he said, Hashana. If you can tell me, he said, this year, the, the year. So, Lamali Lamema, what do you have to tell me that what? That the, that the, Extra month is part of the year. When he said Hashana, obviously means that year. El Olave must mean the Amar Shana. He didn't say Hashana. He said the Lashin Shana. Alma Shana ki Hashana Dami. Nami ki Dina. So we want to say, just like when he says the word Shana, it means Hashana, that particular year. So too when you say Yom, it means Hayom, that particular day. And it doesn't mean a full 24 hour period. So we can push it from the inference we want to make from when the, the Ibiyar is part of it, because it must be that he didn't, if you said Hashana, there's no Kiddush. So it must be he said the word Shana. And the Kiddush is Hashana equals Shana. Hash, Shana equals Hashana. Well, one second. If Shana equals Hashana, then Yoim equals Hayoim. And Hayoim means until nightfall. That's what it means. So therefore, we can push it to Shiloh. So that's where Loi, you know. Now, if he said Hashanah, we said, what's the Chiddush? So when you say Hashanah, I would think that what? He doesn't mean this particular year, but he means a normal year, and therefore the extra month should not be included in his nether, Kemash Mulan, that it is. Again, our influence was predicated upon that he couldn't have said Hashanah, that's Pashit. So he must have said Shana. Then we can be pushed a Shiloh because Shiloh is Yoyim. Shana and Yom are equivalent to Shonos. The answer is you can't be pushed because Itaka said a Shana. I even said a Shana, so obviously it must mean the year. The Gemara says, yeah, it must mean a normal year, 12 months, not necessarily what? 13. Good. That's the Kiddush. And therefore, it remains in a Baya Deloy Ivshita. So again, we know Yoyim means, we know Hayom means till the evening. We know Yom Echad means 24 hours. We do not know what Yom means. We do not know what Yom means. The woman now goes on and answers answer this question in a similar vein. We know that the 50th year is called Yoivo. You have seven Shemitah cycles, and then you have the 50th year, which is called Yoivo. 
there's a machloikas we're going to, throughout Shas and this Gemara, how do you view the 50th year? Is it an entity unto itself, meaning year 49 and then 50, but it doesn't count as the first year of the next Shemitah cycle? That you're going to begin year one. So you count 49 years, then 50. 50, therefore, would then be part of the previous, and then the year one, or 50 is counted the first year of the next Shemitah cycle. That's a machloikis between the Chacham and Rabbi Yehuda. The Chacham say it's an entity by itself, meaning it's not counted as the first year of the Shemitah cycle. And Rabbi Yehuda says it's counted as the first year of the Shemitah cycle. Iboy Elohu. Ama yayin she'anitayim yoivel. He says yoivel. Now, the Ram points out that we weren't pushed the Shiloh of what? Of yoim. So therefore, since we weren't pushed the Shiloh of yoim, it couldn't be that we just means that means yoivel. Because that would be the same thing. We don't know what it is. So it must be say yoivel zeh. This yoivel. Good. It's yoivel zeh. My. Shnas chamishim kilifnei chamishim. Do we view the 50th year as the as part of the nether? Kilifnei, in other words, as part of the previous. Or do we view it as part of the next cycle? And therefore, he would be able to drink wine in the 50th year. So again, do you view, as we saw yesterday, Shabbos is part of the previous week. We saw Rosh the month, is part of the next month, even if it's about the 30th day, right? We said, so we know we saw that we know there's certain scenarios where a lushin by a person means, what does he mean? So if a person says, I won't drink wine for a week, he includes Shabbos. If a person says, I won't drink one for, my, one for a month, it, it means excluding Rosh Hashanah. If he says, I won't drink wine for a year, excluding Rosh Hashanah, that's going to go to the next. What about Chamishim? How do you view 50? Do we view it as part, like Shabbos, or do we view it like Rosh Hashanah or Rosh Hashanah as part of the next? And that's going to be dependent upon the machloikis between Rabbi Yehuda and the Chachamim. Says the Mer, Tashma, the time. Let's be pushed to the Shiloh. Tashma. Look to the Rabbi Yehuda Rabbanon. It says, we kitash them a shnas ha chamishim shana. But it's to me, and you should magdish the shnas ha chamishim shana. That a chamishim at shnas ha chamishim at a moina, you count 50 years. We at a moina shnas chamishim va achas. But you don't count 51. We can't omru, yoivel in the oil aluminium shvua. Loyal does not count what as part of the Shemitah cycle. The view that I mean, no, Yoival oil aluminium shvua. The Yoival does count part of the, 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 the Shemitah cycle. So to be poshit as Shaila, right? It's a machloik, it's tanoyim. Like the Chachamim, if a person makes a, a nether not to drink wine during Yoival, the 50th year will be part of the nether. Like Rabbi Yehuda, who counts the 50th year as part of the next Shemitah cycle, it would not be part of the nether. Okay, now the Gemara just digresses to discuss the different sheetas. Amr loy le Rabbi Yehuda. Har yu oimer, it says, she shonim tisra sadecha, six years you should work your field, the ain kan el chamesh. But according to you, Rabbi Yehuda, you'll only have five years. You're going to count the yoyvil that you can't work. Then you count, start counting, one, two, three, four, five, six is the next Shemitah cycle. So in the six-year period, you only work five of them. So Amalahem, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Yehuda retorted to them, Lidavrechem, according to your words, that the Shemitah doesn't count to the, the Yoyvul year doesn't count as the first year of the Shemitah cycle. Haru Oimer, for us this, okay, what's the Lashon of, of the Pasuk? The Pasuk is, Yitzivisi es berchasi lochem vishnas hashishis, I'll command my bracha to you in the sixth year, for us this es tatvua l'shaleshonim, and it's going to make tour guys for three years, right? They have the seventh, the sixth, at the the sixth year. It's going to make for it the seventh and the beginning of the eighth. But according to you, you're going to have to make for the shvur, the the shmita as well, the shvias as well. For us, as it's for shalishanim harikan arba. According to you, it's four. El ikelo kmi b'shashani shvur. Why do you have to say the pasuk what he says a tour of the shalishanim is in the other years of the shmita cycle, not including the, the shmita year? So delay nami my as well. Ikal ukmi bishashani shvua. That when does it mean that you're gonna work for six years? That's all the rest of the days of the, the Shemitah cycle. Blay Nachinami in the when, when it comes to the Shemitah year, it's gonna be and uh, with that coincides the Shemitah that coincides with Yoivo, it'll only be five years. Okay, the Mishnah had said Ara Pesach. So let's go back to the Mishnah. Go back to the Mishnah on Samech. So we have three Lashinas over here. If the person says, Ara Pesach, I, I won't drink wine until Pesach. So he's also until they get to Pesach. What about he says, until it is? 
then it's us until Pesach's over. So Ad is up until not including. Ad she Yehe until it is including. That'll be Pesach. And what about Pnei? What do you got Pnei Pesach? Guys, Pnei Pesach. Now, Pnei Pesach means the face of Pesach. I can say the face of Pesach means wallowing, the following. The face of the first day, the face of the meeting before Pesach, or the face of the second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, or the face of the last day. So it's really a question whether the person is being willing to be nichnis into a suffix. Light Rebbe Yehud, light Rebbe Meya, I'm not being nichnis into a suffix. I can touch Pnei Pesach as the first day of Pesach. I'm not getting involved. Forget about it. The is only up to Pesach. Rebbe Yossi said, no, it's even up to the last day. That's Mashmah Rebbe Yossi would be nichnis into what the suffix of Pnei is. Light Rebbe Meya, I'm avoiding it totally. I'm avoiding it. What am I saying? If you go up until Pesach, Pnei, Pnei, the face of Pesach, you know what, Pnei, it can mean a lot of things. I'm taking the easy way out. It means a lot before Pesach. It says, Rabbi Yudin, no. It says, Rabbi Yudin, no. I'll be nichtas into the suffix. That's the way we explain the Mishnah, and that's the way the Gemara is going to uh, deal with it. And then the Gemara is going to have charata. I'm going to have to switch the shittas around, as we'll see. It says the Gemara beautifully. Ad Pesach, Asabe. Now, again, the key word is Pnei. Ad until Pesach means up until. Achigia until it's over. Pnei machloikis Rebbe Meya and Rebbe Yaisi. Pnei means Rebbe Meya up until Rebbe Yaisi up until the last day. Now, remember the Rav Meya Sava loymaili inshi nafshi the sveika on the base. A person will not be nichdis into a suffix. Why? Because he's saying Pnei means before Pesach. But Rebbe Yaisi who says it means what? The last day, Sava mile inshi nafshi the sveika. It's mash, but they would enter the suffix because again, we don't know what it is. But that's flat. We'll go with the the possibility that maybe means last day. Or a mini, I'll ask you a stira. Like guys, outside. Guy's got two wives. He's got two daughters. He's got two wives. He's got two daughters from each one. So you have uh, you have right wife number one. He has two girls one and two. Wife number two, he has three and four. So that's the order of their birth. One, two, three, and four. He says, I was Makadish the Gedoyla. I don't know which one it was. I was Makadish the Gedoyla. I don't know which one it was. Let's see the various possibilities. Can it be number one? That's the most obvious, right? Number one is the oldest of the first one. Can it be number two? Yes, it could be number two, because number two is the Gedoyla vis-a-vis three and four. Can it be number three? Yes, three is the Gedoyla of the second set. The only one it can't be is number four. She's the Katana of the last set. Good? That's the bot. So... If you hold a person's nichlis to a suffix, then those three would be would, would not would, would, would not be able to get married. If you hold a person's not nichlis to a suffix, then the only one really that he meant was the number one, the oldest of the oldest, right? So if Reb Meir holds a person's not nichlis to a suffix, he would have to hold number one as us and only number one. But guess what? He holds one, two, and three are out. Reb Yosef's nichlis to a suffix would have to hold one, two, and three are out, but he tackles only number one is out. And therefore, we're going to go ahead and change our Mishnah and say, Reb Mei is the one who says, Pnei means until the last day of Pesach. And Reb Yosef is the one who says, Pnei means up until Pesach, not including Pesach. Let's see it inside. Uremini, I'll ask you a stira. He's got two sets of daughters from two women. Guys, one, two, three, and four. The Omar Kidashti is Biti Hagadoila. I was Makadish, my oldest girl. The Aini Odea in Gedoila Shabbat Gedoila is number one. In Gedoila Shabbat Katana is number three. The Katana Shabbat Gedoila is number two. Shehi Gedoila Minah Gedoila Shabbat Katana is. Right? I think I think it's, it's beautiful, right? That explains everything. Good. Kulan Asuris Chutzmin Mimat from the Katana's Katana's. And who says that? Reb Meir. So you see, Reb Meir is nechdes into a suffix, guys, right? He's nechdes into the suffix. Reb Yosi, I'm not cool. I'm utar. He's chutz min agadayil. He's shemagadayil. It's no two, three, and four are permitted. He's only number one. So lechayra, this is sicer. Why we say it over here? Over here, Reb Meir is the one who says he's not nechdes, and Reb Yosi is the one who is nechdes. Does not says go on. Reb Chinna, Bar Bimi, Am Rav, Mochlefes Ashita. Switch around our Mishnah, meaning when it says a person said, "Akayni Mayim." Ad Pinei Pesach, you know what it means, Rabbi Rabbi Yaisi? It means up until and just Pesach. It says Rameya until the last day. But Tanya is a Raya, guys. But Tanya is a Raya. Zaha Klal. 
Kolshes, the manoi kabua, anything that you have is man that's set for a certain period of time, like Pesach, ad lifnei, or ad penei, remei oimer, ad sheyetzei, remei would say until the last day, remei yoma, ad sheyekia, up until, so that's your raya to the switcheroo, right? Remei, it's anything that has man kabua, guys, Pesach has man kabua, you say penei, and that opinion, Rameya says, it means the list. They, you know why? You nechthas to a suffix. Rameya says, up, up until Ashia Gia, because you're not nechthas to a suffix. So therefore, we switch the sheets around in our Mishnah, and everything now shims with the Mishnah, with the Gemara in Kiddushin. How are we doing? Okay, Baruch Hashem. Says the next Mishnah. Okay, there are different periods of, of harvest. Kotzer usually means the harvest tfuah. Butzer means to harvest grapes. Musik means to harvest figs. Okay, so different Lashon is used for different harvesting. When it says Ktsir, guys, Ktsir Chitim, right? Like, like, like a Rusvein, Ktsir Chitim. And Butzer is Anavim, and Musik is figs. Be aware, you cut grapes with a knife. You cut the clusters with a knife. Figs you would cut with your hands. Figs you cut, you cut with your hands. So now a person says, I won't drink wine at a Ktsir, at a butzer, at a masik, ain't a oyser, he's only a oyser, at shayagia, until you reach up to that period of time. In other words, you wouldn't, you would up until the harvest season. Zah klau, kol shezman kavua, like Pesach, v'omar at shayagia, us at shayagia, omar at shayahei, us at shayetze. That's we just saw previously, that was our previous Mishnah. The kol shayen zaman kavua, Anything that does not have a set time, the harvest can extend. Correct? It's not a, a set time to end the harvest. It extends. It's only usr ad up until. So only, only up until. Good? On, up until. Okay. Let's see Rashi, guys. On Samach Aleph, Amin Aleph. You have to go back. Where the lines get wide in the ran, ad ha kutzer ad a butzer, right? Ad a kutzer ad a butzer ad a masik, in oyser at shiyagia. Everyone will agree up until and not including. Klaima, a feel the woman at shiyahe. Even if he says the lushin at shiyahe, which by Pesach meant up until the end of Pesach, right? At shiyahe, which meant end of the Pesach, who could have tiny timer, zea klau kulshas manakavua, klaima. There is a extension of the time. Kigoin Pesach Shekavu by Torah Shiva Yamim, where the Torah said it's seven days. Ki Amar Ad Sheyehei, then Aser Ad Sheyetsei. The Kivin the Yoda Ad Sheyehei, since he knows up and how much up until Eino Oyster Ad Ad Sheyegia Shein Adam Oyster Atzmai Bizman Shein Like Kitzvah. A person would only only up until, because the person is not going to go ahead and answer something that what that doesn't have a kitzvah. So watch. Comes Pesach, a person says, "I will ask the wine at sheyehei," meaning since Pesach means a set time of seven days, means at sheyehei until Pesach's over. But when you have a harvest and you don't know how the harvest, how long it's going to be. Even if you say at hey, a person is not going to ask us something that doesn't have a zaman kavua. So since there is not a zaman kavua, a set period of time for the harvest, he means what? Only up until. Even though he said the loss at hey, he only means up until because the the mitzvahs of a harvest is unlimited, and therefore a person not, doesn't put himself in a situation like that. So we're making a distinction between cloud that something has a zaman kavua like Pesach. Where Achei means till the end of Pesach versus a harvest, Achei means the same as Ada Ada Kotzer. So there's no difference between Ada Kotzer or Achei Yehei Kotzer. Since it's not as Mankua, a person only means up until. That's the Chiddush of the Mishnah. The list of the Mishnah. Blaze, Blaze, can I ask you a question? How do you know he doesn't mean until the actual physical finishing of the harvest? You no. may not, that, you, you I, may not I, know I, what I, day it is, but when people I, stop I, working, I, that's when the nether's going to be over. What a per, again, what a person is, we know what a person means. A person, again, we go, we go after the daughter about a lashem I know, person, so you're trying to give it a time. Why not just give it what a person means? What does a person mean? 
a person on his, something that has such an unset period of time, when he says, he means up until and not including. Because since it extends beyond that, that's not what he means. May, again. Okay. Oh, I get we're not okay. going what a person means. Right, I hear. Okay. I hear. Thank you. In other words, your spot is right. In, in other words, if I was learning logically, I'd say you're right. But in other words, the, the, the logic over here is when a person's nicholas into a nether, what does he mean? So the svara is that when it's a set amount, this is what he means. When it's not a set amount, he's not leaving it open-ended. Okay. Uh, so now, may we not, are you sitting in the chair? Okay, good. <laughs> so now it says, ad, ad ha kayets. Kayets is a fix. Kayets is fixed. Ad she ha kayets. Or it says, lashen ad she ha kayets. It means, ad she yaschilu am lahachnes bilkakolais. It means that it's us until the people begin entering with their baskets. In other words, as opposed to grapes and wheat, which we didn't give a, a, a definitive time. We just said a time, but we didn't give a, a working definition. By figs, we're giving a working definition. The Gemara will discuss grapes later on, okay? But today, we're giving a working definition. What does up until mean? It means when they begin necklace with the baskets. And at Shayavur Akayas, at Shayaf, and what I mean, if, it's, if he said a nether that I'm usher to work at, at Shayavur Akayas till the Kayas is over, then it would mean at Shayak Pulu Hamik Sois until they fold away the knives, until they fold away the knives. Okay, that's what it means. Now, keep in mind, bear in mind that the Kayas, they would cut with um, the Anovim, they would cut with a knife, and figs they cut with their hands. So says the Gemara Tana. Kilkolish Amru. In our Mishnah, it said, when they by the figs, when they entered with their baskets. What, what do they mean? Right? Kilkolish shall ta'inim. It meant it, it meant kainim. It meant ta'inim. It meant figs. Right? And because figs are called kayats, they, they would dry them out, cut them, dry them out. And they, you don't have to wait kilkolish shall anavim, which is a later time. In other words, you put figs in a basket, you would put Another in a basket, but what did he mean by kayets? He meant the earlier time of harvesting grape, of uh, figs. Tanya, Hanoida mi peris hakayets. Someone makes a nether from the peris of the summer. Ain usser elibitainim. He's only usser what in figs. The Rishim Gilly Lemon, though, af hanovim mechaltainim. He'd also be usser to the harvest. He'd be usser to eat, usser to eat grapes. My time in the Tanakama that you're only limited to what? Figs and not grapes. Kusava to Ainim are called Parasakayats. Why? Shemikatsis and Biyada, because they cut it with their hands. So since they cut it with their hands, that's what he meant by Parasakayats, the Paris that you cut with your hands. What's the Paris you cut with your hands? Figs. And that's the net that would only extend to that time. And Anavim, Lemikatsis and Biyada. But fig, but grapes. You wouldn't go ahead and cut with your hands. They've cut the clusters, guys. They snip it with a with a knife, and therefore it's not it's not the even it's a later zman. Your zman of your ned that would be over earlier. Reb Shem Gamliel says no. Reb Shem Ben Gamliel says no. He says even anavim. Reb Shem Gamliel says anavim nami kimiradadon. When they go ahead and they become dried out and their stem becomes dried, you do not need a knife to cut them. They're dried. You're able to pull them off. It seems the mitzvah is figs you can pull off with your hand, but when the novim are fresh, if you're going to pull it, all you're going to get is grapes coming out because the stem is so strong, it's going to be attached to the vine. So you have to cut it. So says Reb Shem Galil, since this is Zman, where it's possible to go ahead and pull the vine off without the use of a, a utensil, a knife, that's all called hakayets, and therefore the Zman of your nether would extend even to the Zman of a novim. Why does the Mishnah use the lotion of knife by 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 kites at the end? Yeah, we'll see until you fold it up. They, yeah, that, we'll see. We'll see we don't use it. We don't use a knife by kites. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see.